some people to ask, is there a link between perhaps heat, humidity and the speed at which the virus spreads? Well, here's Stefan Burrell from Johns Hopkins School of Public Health in Baltimore, who's been looking at the issue. This is a, a lipid envelope beta coronavirus, and historically, the types of viruses in its family, as well as um, related families that cause the common cold and, and community acquired pneumonias associated with the common cold are seasonal in nature. And so, you know, I, I do think that there's a relationship that is. Um, that we've well understood with these viruses uh, for a long period of time, uh, for many, many years. And as such, would you expect this virus then to potentially fall back a little in terms of the speed at which it's spreading through the summer before picking up again? You know, the sort of seasonal dynamics of a virus doesn't change its sort of day to day transmission, that these are sort of the expected patterns over, let's say, the coming weeks and the coming months in, in, in at least the, the northern hemisphere. And, and I think in that, um, you know, one still needs to practice the sort of, you know, preventive measures that are being undertaken. But it's also the case that historically, these are viruses that are seasonal in nature and that there is some expectation that related to sort of intersectional dynamics at the individual level and just how society functions and just the environment will likely aid and, and potentially decrease transmission from the summer months. And, and we may see resurgence again in the winter months. And so if that's a seasonal dynamic, can we also talk about a geographical dynamic where countries with hotter climates would be expecting to see it less prevalent? A few things that are important to note, and, and, and this has been, you know, best example in Italy, is that, you know, a country is not equally affected by this virus, right? That, that Italy, the people of Italy are at very different risks depending on where they live. And, you know, so at, at, the, at the sort of, you know, we have to think about transmission as really happening at a local level and then sort of moving up from there. But I do think that, you know, we need to look at the historical uh, data of coronaviruses and common colds and community acquired pneumonias in countries, at least as part of the prediction pathway in order to understand how, you know, this, this virus may, uh, you know, uh, fold, uh, may play out.